Greetings, YouTube. I am trying to keep myself calm. I view myself as the voice of the average player because I am much closer to the skill of the average player than a professional. I have a lot of empathy and sympathy for free to play players out there who uh, can't afford to spend money on the game. And so their only real hope is to hoard units based mostly off of arena grinding to take advantage of offers a few times a year, not just on Cyber Weekend and July 4th and spring cleaning, but you know when certain things happen, even greater gifting crystals. So when those free-to-play players are robbed, especially just a couple weeks before July 4th, of a chance for units that Kabam promised them because of, to no fault of their own, the arena's bugged, then that should be of utmost importance to Kabam. I want to remind you all of how it was bugged. You can see when I go to the current summoner trials what was supposed to be from a couple Thursdays ago regarding the milestones. 13 units per milestone. And you can see it goes up very, very high from the first milestone all the way to, by the way, it increases from 13 to 14 units at milestone 11 and all the way up to 4.4 million. The problem is, of course, that the old system had half as many opportunities for units, and instead of 14 units per milestone, it had about seven, and it cut off at around 2.2, 2.3 million. So when this Summoner Trials was bugged, it prevented everybody, but especially the people who depended on the units the most, those low spenders, those casual players, those free-to-play players, from obtaining a couple hundred units, which may not sound like a lot, but it could be the difference between whether or not they can really make a substantial purchase during July 4th weekend, which I remind you all, is just one week from Friday. So I had said in a video, because we discussed with... Uh, Several people behind the scenes, and Rich the Man, God bless him, uh, Kabam, uh, contacted Kabam personally, and they said by the end of this week we should have the trials correction. All of that's to say, I said, you know, if you're doing the math, probably 200 units, 20,000 battle chips, and um, maybe 20,000 premium shards. Kabam, after uh, delaying so much of this, came up with this. 4,300 premium shards, not 180 units, 18 units, not 20,000 battle chips, 1,200 battle chips, and 21,000 gold. I know that some people look at me as overly critical with my offer grades and my reviews of things. And even though I love the game and I do things like crystal opening commentaries to try to, to try to promote uh, good luck to try to promote uh, people to want to play. I have to call shade where shade is present. This is a slap in the face to every player, especially those of you that did the arena. This is not what was promised and what was missing two weeks ago. And if this was January or February, I'd, I'd be angry for the player base, but I'd brush it off. But this is late June. We are so close to July 4th weekend, and Kabam is being so cheap as to hold against the player base what was owed to them, maybe out of hope that they would spend more cash. Players don't mind spending cash when they trust the company and when they know the product is of the highest quality. It's decisions like this that makes so many people question so much. I have talked to a therapist, and this is a true story, for like five years. And she'll say, why do you have trust issues? And I'll say, let me, let me tell you about this Canadian company, Kabam. 
you know how like Canada is supposed to be really nice and generous, and I'm sure most people there are? This company kind of like is the antithesis of that. And every time I start to get real excited about things that they're doing in the game, they do a lot of good, to be fair. Something like this happens where I just feel sick to my stomach because they would not have hurt what they call the economy of the game by giving out at least 100 units, at least 10,000 battle chips, at least 10,000 premium shards, at least 50,000 gold. It's not being greedy, it's just expecting to get what was promised and not delivered upon. Nothing more, nothing less. By Kabam not doing that, it makes me sick to my stomach. And some people might view that as too negative or too critical, but I just call it like I see it. This is not right. This is definitely not right.